I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but I'm not sure I like it. Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Ghostbusters. It seems we are in dire straits alongside our city. And we're just gonna have to Hello, overcome that and come up with a plan to, I guess, clear our name oh, yes, while saving the people who are trying to get rid of us. No. For the foreseeable future. What does this symbol mean? Uh, guys. Perfect fit. It's not a constellation. It's a mandala. I can't believe I never saw it before. Okay, for one minute, pretend someone here doesn't know what a mandala is. A mandala is like a spiritual labyrinth. And this one looks like a spiraling system that feeds into each successive node along the line until it reaches a culmination point. Before he died, Shandor must have set some mechanism in place similar to the antenna in Dana's building. You know, I think you helped to make that clear. So this was the gizmo that's supposed to feed energy to the destructor form? That's... that's right, Peter! Well, Dr. Venkman. Well, I had to get one right eventually, didn't I? I mean, just math. All right, I'm just speculating, but it's possible that ghosts are trapped in the system, funneled from node to node, and they get stronger and stronger until they reach the end, and then they... Look, the first portal, the library, the second, the museum, and the third, the Sedgwick. And that means the fourth portal must be right here. The middle of the Hudson River? Well, according to the Mandala, yes. It may need a little tweaking. I don't know. Plenty of bodies in that river. Could become ghosts. But what does this have to do with me? What did I do? You were at the museum and the Sedgwick. Maybe you were some sort of catalyst, accidentally setting things in motion. You're saying this is my fault? You are blameless! What Egon meant to say was that you have some sort of connection to this thing and we're going to go back to the Sedgwick and find out what. Isn't that right, Brainiac? That's right, Peter. Alyssa, do you remember where you were going when you were at the Sedgwick? I was standing outside a room, 1221. Something was compelling me to go in, but I woke up just before the door opened. I ran out of there as fast as I could. And then some jerk tried to pick me up on the elevator. Okay, you need to stay here where it's safe and where you can't set off any more cross-dimensional shockwaves, hot stuff. Here, read up on the Mandela and the boys will check out the Sedgwick. The boys? And what about you, Superstar? I'm gonna have you drop me off near Peck's office. Something tells me he's not quite what he seems. Good idea. Meet us at the hotel when you're done. Peter Bankman doing something actually useful? And now I have seen everything. Well, if we are returning to the Sedgwick... I mean, on the one hand, that's cool, because I do love a spooky haunted hotel as a location. But what else can there possibly be to learn there? Didn't oh, we do this already? If this place were any more dead, we need a coroner. Egon used to be a licensed coroner. No kidding. It's just a hobby now. Close until further notice by the Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. Peacock. Entrance into this establishment is strictly forbidden and is punishable by fine and imprisonment. What now? Hmm. This notice is for the general public. It doesn't apply to us. We're bonded contractors for the city. Especially the Ghostbusters. All right, heat him up. We'll melt our way in. Wait, I have a better idea. Good thinking. <laughs> hmm, this is disappointing. No, disappointing is the Jets losing in the last two minutes. Not being covered in slime by phantom ghouls out to kill us doesn't exactly make me reach for a hank. Why they shut down? You guys didn't bang the place up that bad last time you were here. If this place is a mandala note, a few burnt walls and broken ceilings are the last thing that anybody's... And smashed furniture, broken chandeliers, destroyed paintings, shattered vases, probably some minor structural damage. Thanks, Egon. My point being that there's more to worry about here than some minor cosmetic issues. 
definitely a mandala node. If we don't shut down Shandor's mandala soon, most of Manhattan will become as vacant as this. Not to mention also becoming a bastion of absolute mind-numbing horror for centuries to come. Hey, I definitely don't lay out two grand a month for a 600 square foot walk up to live in a bastion. Let's get to work. Two grand a month and living here. Uh, what a fantasy world this is. Locate the hotel's mandala node. So you would think that it would require all of them to function, would it not? After you. Then again, maybe we didn't actually shut down anything, although that seemed to be the case at the library. It's an ambush! Get them hot! Wait a minute, wait. I don't think they're a threat. They may only be residual hauntings. I think Ray's right. They haven't crossed entirely into this dimension. They're just psychokinetic echoes. Ghosts of ghosts. Completely harmless. Great. I was hoping to meet a friendly ghost someday, but I'll settle for harmless right now. I'm getting a strong valence spike higher up in the building. Alyssa said she was called to the 12th floor. Let's start there. They're only in our peripheral vision. We can't see them when we look directly at them. Yeah, guys, I know, but I figured... Come on, let's go! Yeah, shut up. I figured there's got to be a reason we can come here. And things have festered to such a worse state. But this is so cool. I was thinking that this was going to be, like, even more fan service. Take a scan, would you? But I do like the idea of seeing an old location in a new light. <laughs> These pants just keep on trucking, even with nobody inside. Possessed bell-bottom jeans, circa 1970. Rumored to have first been haunted during a seance on the Merry Pranksters tour bus, these jeans have long been a staple of the psychedelic supernatural underground. Spotted backstage at Woodstock, caught on grainy 16mm film in the candlelit background of a hate Ashbury, wait, hate hate Ashbury Lovin, photographed riding behind a member of a notorious biker gang fleeing Altamont, the walking pants have been around whenever weirdness or tragedy strikes the hipster scene. The walking pants are the hippie equivalent to the girl on the road ghost story. Prior to their resurfacing this year, they haven't been seen since 1981. You know, telling a long story shortly is kind of an art form, and especially to still have it be so entertaining. Come on, let's go! Yeah, we all stopped. I thought we were doing something. They'd have shut down the power when they closed. Can we take the stairs? Well, we can try climbing, but the last time we were here, a level three animator took out the bottom of the staircase. Yeah, that's right. I forgot you weren't here last time, Winston. So no stairs, no elevators. Did you hear something? Over there. Come on. Did some of these ghosts just react to that? I think we're dealing with a level five anchored ambusher. Be careful. It went into the stairwell. We've got it cornered. Help! This is just how a level 5 anchored ambusher lures you in. I'm not getting much. The manager? What are you doing here? Ghosts. Monsters. Everywhere. There was another voice. A woman screamed. Are you alone in here? Look, I just said ghosts and monsters everywhere. Does that sound like I'm alone? meant people. Then yes. I think so. Well, I guess that explains it. Sir, there's no need to fear. These are just shadows, echoes of actual ghosts. They can't hurt you. Come with us, sir. We can lead you to safety. I don't take it this improves our relationship with this establishment any. You know? I don't know. Most of the old staff knows the story of the Spider Witch, a professional widow who did unimaginable things in a room on the 12th floor back in the 1920s.
What are you still doing here? Why didn't you evacuate with everyone else? I came back last night to retrieve some payroll records, but the hotel won't let me out. The door's shut on me, and the phones are down too. That means we're trapped now too. And we have to hope that Peter figures out we're missing. There goes a weekend. Not necessarily. The twelfth floor is apparently the core of this node. If we can get the power back on, we can take the elevators. If the elevators don't eat us. Yes, if the elevators don't eat us. Where are the circuit breakers for this place? We don't have a lot of time. Uh, breakers? In my office. But the city came and turned off most of our power after the electrical fire on the third floor. There's no way to turn it back on from here. That's inconvenient. We've got to find some way to get the elevators moving. There's a backup generator in the utility room, off the kitchen. It's for emergency blackouts. Perfect. Let's give it a try. To the kitchen. You know, I really love this feeling of being unharmed by, but nevertheless surrounded by these lesser spirits. Or I guess not even really spirits. This place just, like, has a way of capturing... Oh, never mind. I should have known it captures the greater stuff, too. Okay, you look like you're maybe slimed up. Yeah, that's getting you real good. There we go. And you got that one. Oh, here comes more. Oh, uh, did, I, did I get the scan? No, I did not. This is why we have to check. Oh, I cannot wait to find out what you guys are supposed to be. You seem to be possessing actual skeletons. Hang on. Uh, webbed Fiend. Outwardly humanoid in appearance, Webbed Fiends can draw upon PKE energy to alter their appearance in order to present a terrifying visage that can cause those with weaker wills to flee. As though they're trapped between two worlds, Webbed Fiends quickly transition between the ghost world and the physical world. Just don't be there when they do. So they're not actually possessing physical bones, simply taking that form for intimidation. I'm going to use that from now on. Oh, God, you just won't stop. I guess some of them apparently fulminate to this plane that doesn't seem like they're happy about. Right. Now, let's find that backup generator. The kitchen. Is it through here? Yes, just down the hall. Follow me, guys. I know this place like the back of my hand. Ah! Do I have to maybe walk forward a few more feet to trigger the dialogue? Oh, or maybe this means I'm supposed to get out my PKE meter? There we go. <laughs> yeah, you just Hello? wait here. You'll be Anyone fine. There? All right, guys, spread out. Room should be around here somewhere. In some dark, scary corner. I know I've said this before, but be careful. I don't think we're alone. Wait, there's something behind here. Come on. Yeah, sorry. Cruel oven. Alarming banging and cries for help drift from this microwave. You know, it, it's the same with all of these things. Comedic, yet nonetheless creepy. The origins of this evil cooking device are unclear. What is known, however, is that demons and devils apparently love a home-cooked meal. You, that wasn't just me, right? You had no face for a second. Yeah, something really weird is happening at a certain angle with you. On, just uh, doing some community service. I heard the word poison, I thought. This place is wrecked. Did you and Beekman do all this when you were chasing slime? No, this is a lot worse than they left it. This is the work of something big. When you say big, do you mean big, big? 
Mm -hmm. At the very least, maybe even bigger. That sounds pretty big. The manager said there was a generator room around here somewhere. Look for a door. I'm just so paranoid about like portals yeah, opening up here every which way. Yeah, there's definitely others here. Generator room. Right here. Oh no. You're gonna want me to go down there. Look! Cadet found the emergency generator! Look around for a switch or something to start it up. What's it look like? Probably like a switch or something that would start up a generator. All right, Egon, but you should know I'm keeping score. What did I say? There's a lot of water on the floor. Watch out for static discharge when you activate the generator. You mean to say he could be electrocuted after the power's back on? Could happen. Outside chance. I would make some kind of OSHA joke here, but... To be fair, Ray has put his money where his mouth is. I mean, he's been in my shoes back at the library. Now, if only they were rubber shoes. This looks Switch-like. I know, because I pulled one I shouldn't have pulled in the basement. So why can't I... Oh, right here. Ah, sweet music. I'd recommend not stepping in that water. That sounds like an excellent recommendation. Seems what like a job for this. Hang on, wait, nope. Get it out of the water, then. Yep, I know just what to do. <laughs> I know this much. We're trapped down here like Now let's hurry. Hurry. Some slime hurry. Come on, kid. Hurry. Hurry. should be working. Unless something... Never mind. Let's get back to the lobby. Uh, question. How's anybody supposed to get back here? Answer, it looks like it's staying. So, oh, never mind. <laughs> Listen. What's that smell? Over there. Come on. Look out, it's the late shift. Yeah, but this is just for help. Where's the boss? I yep. can't believe I just said that out loud. I know that guy. It's the mass poisoner. Chef the forest. So nobody even I knew it. Here, even if you're really hungry. I Come knew I heard something about poisoning. Uh, but why why are you choosing to present yourself only now? I mean, I'm pretty sure you were probably here when we uh when we were here the first time, right? Uh, you just disappeared. Above you. Not trouble. And there's a flying cooking Looking pot causing us trouble. Can you guys really not deal with this? Right. Like, I'm willing to deal with all, like, the Class 5 apparitions and Class 7, like, possessors. I can do all that, but the little stuff, I'd really like if you could just keep them off my back. Oh. Bunch of glory hounds, all of you. These guys are actually smart enough to run away when I hit them with something big. So am I to imagine that this guy, old Pinhead, was your accomplice? Or does this place just keep every chef who dies here? Along with, uh, presumably, everybody else? No, you. In the trap. In the trap. Come on. Ow. Come on. You get over here. Now. Come on. Come on. And... Get over! Oh, you're stuck behind the wall. Come on! Up there! Jeez! I've got a trap out, but we really need to actually capture somebody sooner or later. Up! Oh, you got him! Come on, over here, over here! Oh, it's like they don't even go in half the time. Ow! Please, you're. It, it says you're. It says you're captured. Come on, over here. Thank you. All right, I think I think they have another one injured. Pick them up. Drop it out. You should be very low. Come on now. And come on. Oh, I swear, half the time you guys don't even get trapped. And there you... Did you just steal my trap? I don't think the one I was holding went in. Or at least there was another one in very close proximity. Alright, but the big boss... The big boss is almost down. You guys have been down like ten times each. I'm hit! Need some help! 
There's a portal in here. Look behind you. That should limit their mobility somewhat. No. You, sir, are coming with me. Yep, two guys down, which isn't good. So I'm kind of busy. You exploded into pots and pans. Well, that's not a behavior I've observed before, but at this point, I can't say it's one that surprised me. I don't know what I was supposed to do about you. Get out of here! Look out! All right, let's uh, let's return this meal. It came out cold. Come on, get in there. Thank you. All right, this kitchen is clean. Let's get back to the elevator. Well, yeah, because it's not a kitchen anymore. Even the objective is saying so. That sure was. I'm probably gonna cut a lot of that. That certainly was stuff happening. Like we were just getting knocked over constantly, and so it just took a really, really long time to reach the inevitable conclusion. Oh, you're awake. No, you're here. If everything checks out here. Okay, you want to finish like that thought? Masses come to rest about 190 feet above our heads. The 13th floor. This hotel has no 13th floor. None of the grand old hotels do. Man's got a strong argument. We'll split the difference. Egon, you and the Tenderfoot go to the 12th floor. Winston and I will check out the 14th. Uh, sir, if you'll please come with us. Fine, but stay in contact. This place is extraordinarily dangerous. You said the thing. But I'm getting something over this way. Over this way, where it's still quite dark. You can't open this door. What about this one? There's, there's something here. Ah, here we go. clock displays the time of death of anyone that sees it. Too bad we didn't catch a peek. Swiss death clock, circa 1821. The infamous Swiss death clock was constructed by Herschel Glucki, genius but demented watchmaker. And it's intended to show the exact time of death of anyone that comes near it. When placed in the firehouse in close proximity to so many past life entities, the clock's hands spin out of control. Peter uses it as a desk fan. <laughs> and the room's good as new. Man, it's like this place was uh, just kind of festering in the presence of that object. Alright guys, fourth detour of the night Speed aside. Well, let's see what's on the 12th floor. We're not all going together? Hey God, what were you saying earlier about the Mandala though? You mean why do we keep seeing new ghosts? Yeah. Okay. Think of the Mandala as a city bus line. At the bus station, ghosts or waiting passengers are drawn into the system here and trapped. This concentrates their PK energy, which is then eventually forced through to the next node or station, and so on until it all ends at a final terminus. At each successive bus station, the station manager absorbs some of the energy. This makes the station manager or node guardian stronger so that it can keep the ghosts in line and destroy anyone who comes to the station to interfere with the flow. These nodes, or bus stations, gather the power used to feed a central point, thus creating a much bigger threat to our world. Does that make more sense now? DTTC, Totally Trapped Transit Company. Yeah, you were going strong right up until the passengers got trapped inside the bus station. When is my performance review again? I deserve more stock options. Oh my god. After you, my dear. Well, that was terrifying. Be extremely careful. This is likely to be a point of dangerous concentration. 
<laughs> you know, I aspire to have reactions like that to being absolutely terrified someday. Odd. It's coming from everywhere and nowhere. Impossible to get a significant fix. Ray, come in. Are you there? Egon. What happened? We lost you for a minute there. We had a close contact. I've got some more information on the Spider Witch ghost. The manager says authorities never found her, but... The bodies were hung from the ceiling. They were drained of blood and dragged around. He says the victims were found in a pretty bad state. The walls were painted in blood. Furniture was half-chewed and crushed and piled in a corner like a giant nest. She seems to have vandalized the room badly, too. Hmm. I don't want to be hung from a ceiling and drained of blood. i tell you this much. I do not want to be found in a bad state or vandalized. I think that sentiment is unanimous. You know, when you put it that way, you realize that both versions are as bad as each other. Are you ready? No, no, I'm not ready. There's something over here. Hang on, you. Are we crouching? Why did it seem like we were so low to the ground? What is going on here? In any case, there's ghosts to be busted in this room, but that whole scene on the elevator is exactly why hotels are so creepy. They have so much history, so many different people passing through them over the years. Come on. Yeah, I know we got some place to be, but so do I. Oh my god. Phantom flush toilet. The scary toilet emits frightening sounds. Is someone drowning? Something's drowning. Uh, circa 1906. Presented to His Majesty Edward VII as a diplomatic gift from the Moroccan ambassador, this stunning specimen of engineering and craftsmanship has been a harbinger of disaster and death since its initial casting. Unbeknownst to the ambassador, a Turkish drowning demon was bound to the magnificent throne as a fiendish assassination ploy. An insolent underbutler became the seat's first British victim. When said servant tried to use it before Edward had a chance, the underbutler was dragged to his horrible, watery doom, and the toilet was quickly removed from the royal palace and thrown in the rubbish. It has since passed through many hands and households, spawning terror and tragedy in each. Even in this day and age, it is difficult to imagine that such a work of beauty is so incredibly deadly. You say that, and put that picture right there. Alright, Egon, now we can see what's beyond that door. And man, the PKE meter is not having it. Oh! Ray, come in. Yeah, what's up? What was the Spider Witch's room number? 1221. After her spree, it was locked up. Until about five years ago when we remodeled. Hear that? Room 1221. I think that... Hey! What is it? I ask as if you can answer. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm inside the doorway. What are you doing? Man, that was nuts. Some huge, non-human abomination for all of about five frames. Oh, greet our visitors. Which way? Uh... Any way other than this one. We're not alone in here. Yeah, I'm way ahead of you, both figuratively and literally. Oh no. Get him. Oh god, spider demons. So I guess Pappy Sargassi wasn't the last one able to alter the environment. Maybe it never was about him. Get a full nope. Scan. Uh, if you insist. Ha ha! I got it in the billionth of a second before you killed it. This floor is undergoing significant metamorphosis. Ghost World is aggressively encroaching on ours. It's not even utilizing a portal. This is very bad. The chairman sends them to you, so... A, you're pretty high up there in terms of, uh, in terms of upper echelons. And also, he's not gone. Goodness, we hardly know each other. What? What are you? No! Help! No, please. No!
It's the ghost world crossing through, happening sooner than we expected. It looks like this is where the node is focused. We could use some help. Ray, are you there? Come in, Ray. Looks like it's up to us. Let's find 1221 and finish this. Well, aside from you speaking out of sync with your mouth, I have to say, like, the body language in this is really impressing me. I mean, not many games will actually have something be communicated through a simple look. And then combining that with the disconnect in voice act, the unruly beard of V. Belisku. This disgusting, tangled mass of hair twitches and squirms. Circa 1933, Russian demonologist Vladimir Belisku or Belska performed exorcisms throughout central Russia in the 20s and early 30s. He never noticed that one of the very minor subdemons he cast out had escaped into his beard, a massive and wild nest that stirred envy in most men. Upon his death, the possessed beard left Belsku's face and stowed aboard a freighter to the Americas. The beard has a tendency to affix itself to the chins of unknowing victims while they speak to mock them, but rarely does any real harm. I don't know, I mean, a beard just jump-scared me, so I suppose it does some cardiac damage, perhaps? Well, let's move deeper into the funhouse. They're hashing from the egg sacs on the walls, which, you know, I suppose makes sense, but can we destroy them early then? Like, if we identify them? There's an open room right here, and it seems the answer is actually yes. We have to look for that blue glow. I can't... Oh my. Twelve twenty. Twelve twenty two. No twelve twenty one. Where is it? Twelve twenty one has to be here. Maybe it's obscured by another one of those ghost shields? Never trust the naked eye in this work. I'm sure it's here, even if we can't see it. And that all but confirms it, but I have something to say. I wonder if I wonder if she was chosen for this for her exceptional cruelty? Or if this was always her game. Come on, Egon, make sure you break all of this we can. Remember, just because we can't see it doesn't mean it isn't here. I mean, I can see it, so I don't know what you're on about. Good thinking. It was here all along. Do you guys just not actually use your PKA meters? Like, am I the only one that's actually working? Well, this looks inviting. I mean, it's certainly spacious. Uh, oh god, I accidentally touched them. I don't like the look of this, but we've run out of options. Come to me. Be I mean, I'm pretty afraid of the fact that I can't see beyond there. Egon, do you want to go first? You're senior after all. That's what I thought.
aren't alone. Uh, it's a good thing we've switched back to gameplay where the lighting is better. Otherwise, we would have been fighting in poor visibility. Yeah, but these aren't goofy cartoon manifestations of death. These are honest-to-god skeletons. Uh, they said that the Sedgwick Hotel has had a number of unexplained disappearances and deaths. Maybe this is some of them? So, Shelob. Got it. This won't hurt a bit. You're going to feel a tiny prick. She's hiding somewhere. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we must have some kind of advantage, right? Otherwise she wouldn't bother. Then again, she's a spider. She likes to play with her food. So let me guess. She's either in that thing, or like she's gonna... Shining proton pack time. Yes, thank you, Egon. Or she's gonna pop up from down here. That's, that's yep, that's, uh, hmm. That's kind of what I figured. Well, let's get her, but not before I catalog this for my coffee table book. There we go. Was worth the poison to the face. Alright, uh, let's switch to the Mason, whatever you called it. Oh wow, this does not last long. And she can just teleport without the use of a portal. So that's an issue. But as long as we keep the fire up, we should be okay. Actually, I'm gonna see- hang on, I'm gonna see if there's upgrades. Mason Collider Penetration. Mason Collider Accelerator. Uh, Pulse Accelerator. And Overload Pulse Accelerator. There we go! All Mason Collider upgrades, just like that. See what happens when you hoard points? It allows you to go in way more OP than she expected you to be. Find the Spider Witch and... Oh no, interrupt her feeding. Oh god, now we've actually got to use the, the PKE meter as a boss fight mechanic. There she is. Okay, uh... Mason, go! Interrupt her feeding. I assume she's probably going to heal from that, right? This thing just... It does big damage, but it just doesn't last long. But you know what? If we do this right, and we catch her quick, we should be able to make short work of her, I think. She, yeah, she's already almost dead. Wow. Unless this is going to be one of those staged boss fights. I wonder if sound plays a role here. Okay, she's over in this direction somewhere. I see her. I already see her. But I took the wrong way around. Alright, first shot hits, causes the rest to home in on her. I knew there had to be another part to this. Yep, here's where the little ones come in. Oop. But maybe we can just get you right here and now. I mean, your health is so low. What will they do without mom? She didn't put up much of a fight. Look, the mandala map. Ray, Winston, come in, you there? Egon, what happened? You all right? The recruit found the 13th floor and we shut it down. 
PKE levels are back to acceptable parameters. This node of the mandala is fully neutronized. All right. Where are you? We went back down to the 12th floor and couldn't find anything. Everything seems pretty normal. Looks like we're back in the Ruby Ballroom. We'll meet you at Ecto-1. Egon, remind me. Why are we driving aimlessly in the fog? The final note, Beckman. Close it, and we seal the mandala, trapping the ghosts inside. Sorry to break this to you, Egon, but I just don't see a mandala... You were saying? Shandor Island. It's here. the most excited about going to Ghost Island, why don't I just take the boat? I, I, I thought I was making a nice gesture. You're giving me the suspicious look. <laughs> Drop it instantly. Let's get going, because nobody enjoys rushing headlong towards their death more than this fellow. What's the story behind this place, Egon? The Shandors owned this island for generations. The castle was built in the 1860s. Evo Shandor used it as a refuge, a lab, and a temple for he and other cult members to worship Gozer. Ooh, okay, that's all well and good. But can someone explain to me how an entire island sinks? The night the last Shandor died, there was a huge tidal surge, and the river just swallowed the island whole. Shandor consecrated the island to Gozer, and the ghost world reclaimed it. Mm -hmm. City's lucky it's in the middle of the river instead of Rockefeller Center. We're lucky now. But soon the ghost world will continue to assert itself into ours, and the damage will be incalculable. Hmm. Just another screwed up day at the office. It appears that we need to take that staircase to get inside. That's a big hole, guys. And I am not swimming in the Hudson River in November. So, how do you want to get across? Maybe that crane still works. Uh, I get it. Is this well, going to be another one of those tether things? Make the world a better place. Okay, so this is a kind of a whole lot to drop on me so in the, the 30 seconds since we, left the, the, since we left the hotel. Do I have to grab the platform itself? There we go. But where am I, where am I sending it to? Like this? Good idea. Look at that. Rookie, move the crane. All right, swing it around. Almost. Work it over this way to cover the hole. So, since when do we have a boat? And also, why do we need a boat? Except for this very specific circumstance that kind of surprised us in the moment. I mean, we've literally known that this thing would be here for, what, not even a full day? Still, for as silly as it sounds, I have to say I do appreciate the almost, like, biblical sense to the storytelling here. This all supposed to be happening in close enough to modern day New York. I don't know, there's just something I really appreciate about like, you know, if you're gonna tell a fantastic story, swing big. Over to, I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly where we're bringing this thing still. Bring it in, almost there, whoa, great. Yep, yeah. and there we go. You know, you guys also have slime. I didn't see you helping with that. But you'll just kind of lazily saunter across. It's kind of been a metaphor for our entire relationship up until this point, right? I mean, professionally. Where to? Yeah, I came in here idolizing you guys, and now within a couple of days, you're all following me. Granted, my merit has proved the need for that, but still, it's a little has disappointing. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh! You all right? What's with you? You know you only get paid if we live. Recruit, you okay? Let's keep moving. <laughs> I love how they reacted to that, but stayed with their feet perfectly planted. Ah, oh, just look at this, though. Ugh. Good thing for the flood bites. Don't go too far, Ray. If we need you, we're gonna need you really fast. Aye, aye, Z. 
Raise me on the horn if you need me. Now he's Captain Ahab. Be careful, Ray. Let's keep moving. We'll find a place where Ray can put in to get us later. How hard would it have been to scale the model of that so that it fits? Or just make the exit bigger? Because, like, I was looking at that and I was like, there's no way it's going to fit. And then it didn't. And the funny thing is, a decade later, they had an opportunity. They had the remaster. I mean, they couldn't have, like, gone in the model's properties and been, like, 0 0.8. Uh, granted, I don't know the engine. I don't know how easy it would be to do that, but still. Check this joint out. That's a $3 million view, even by Manhattan standards. My apartment used to look like this. Shandor's public architectural style ranged from federal to art deco. His personal tastes, however, obviously lean toward the Gozerian. Oh, now I see what they mean by early demonic. Okay, uh, do we have to blow our way through here or pick it up? I actually can't. Oh, but maybe... Oh, we can probably just break our way through here, huh? The strange book. A dirge-like chanting rises quietly from this dark book. And we'll never get the pages apart, considering this whole thing just rose up out of the Hudson River. Church of Gozer Songbook. Circa 1919, having resuscitated the Dark Church of Gozer and wanting to increase its popular appeal, Evo Shandor made attempts at updating ancient Sumerian droning rituals to modern-day worship songs. The practice of singing in the Dark Church was abandoned soon afterward. Guess it didn't exactly top the charts. But man, look at how cool this is. Like, this is why sometimes you have to look up in games. And I'm glad that the way you enter this area kind of forces that. I mean, imagine the artistry that goes into something like this. doesn't sound good. You know, it's one thing to have a co-commentator in a game. It's another thing to have, like, a whole crew of them. There's an open door. Yep. Hey, we know those guys. We sure do. Haven't seen you since Times Square. Hang on, get closer. I need to scan you. I never fully got you. Come on now. Uh. This way, I can't... It's a console game, so I can't look directly up. There we go. Okay, uh, you can go now. No longer need you. There we are. Oh, what's that? Despite your intimidating nature, you're actually incredibly underpowered? Yeah, I remember. explains why they attacked us in Times Square. They're gargoyles from Shandor buildings. Guess Evo would be tickled pink to know his old security system still works so long after he died. I would imagine you can ask him yourself. Oh, no. That's a lot of whatever they are. So you guys can just spawn portals and, like, vomit forth a million of you guys instantly, huh? Ow. Yep, I made the heroic sacrifice after doing literally 100% of the work. But let's just, uh, mop that up. Maybe toss some of that sawdust-like stuff in it. Make it easier to mop. You know, with these little guys and with the portals, it's it, it's so funny how much of this comes down to, like, janitorial work. But that's also why I think this would work so well as a work simulator-style game. If you lean into the research, if you lean into the methodology, it could actually be a really fun time-waster-style game that still has elements of excitement to it at times. There we go. Hmm, we can go in, or go this way. Hey, you. You're up, buddy. Okay, cadet. You first. I've got your back. Down here, huh? Down here, in the ivy-encrusted, moss-filled 
maze. Yeah, no, nothing bad's gonna happen here. We're not Did gonna get separated. Hedge mazes are designed to conceal a secret shortcut. That's actually really interesting. I'm gonna have to look into that. I did not know that. Well, there's still one crank that works down there. Try using it to open the door. Okay. Where? I don't like these sounds that I'm hearing, but I like even less that Egon is not staying directly on my back, please. Oh, and of course there's a secret in here. And we're moving further away from it. Let's keep moving. Oh, not this way. Maybe if we go out and around. It's so dark in there. It's just so dark. This game knows what it's doing. It's very likely that it's using this to conceal a jump scare. Can we get out of here? What was that? This decrepit stuffed bear sometimes sounds as bad as it looks. That was that thing? Anguish stuffed bear. The origin of this ready old stuffed bear is not known, but its paranormal behavior, the emitting of an off-putting, though strangely compelling, cry of anguish, it's been periodically heard since the day it was removed from Kloff's Museum of Taxidermic Curiosities in December 1867. What an accurate way to describe that sound. Thank you. Okay, but uh, we can use you, I take it? No, that's not the way to go. And then, so you want to go the other way? No. All right, let's try the other way then. That looks right. The door looks like it's connected to that crank. See if you can get it to turn. And the way out is actually fairly straightforward. Only thing, it's not gonna stay that way, is it? Uh, no, it doesn't look like I can get it to turn. Wind the chain. Wait, it started doing it. Maybe it had to go in the opposite direction. Seems right. That did it. The door's wide open. Get back up here. Uh huh. And uh huh. Oh my god. Now the way you came around that corner was actually kind of intimidating. Not gonna lie. But you need to get back in there where you came from. The fact that some of you are still appearing. It's kind of an issue. Can you guys maybe, like, provide some fire support from above? I mean, I know this stuff gets distance. No more use. And there's probably more of you around the corners, right? Yep, there we go. You're not allowed. The rest of you can stay. I'm just wanting to get upstairs now. You gone? You coming? Seems like... Nobody really follows me in these things. No? You're gonna stay? Alright. Uh, guys, why am I always waiting for you? Yeah, that'll work. Hmm. I take it we're not welcome. Yeah? There's a first. I'm gonna get us all name badges that say, Hello, I'm not welcome. Or maybe t-shirts or coffee mugs. I actually think it would be really funny to show up to a party or other event that you don't want to go to with the words, hello, I'm not welcome on it. Alyssa, I see her. You and me both. She's wearing just a simple terry cloth robe. And she's brought me coffee. That's her, all right. Spitting image. The resemblance is uncanny. This is Evo Shandor's mother, painted in 1885. Wait. What? Alyssa is a Shandor? Why does this always happen to me? I meet a girl, she's crazy about me, but she always turns out to be some kind of unbelievable fixer-upper. This is all making sense. Alyssa must have inadvertently triggered the mandala because she has Shandor blood. And she doesn't know it. When I did her profile, she told me she was adopted. Some coincidence, huh? 
You don't really believe this happened by accident? No. Someone must have known and set this up. The mayor did say that Peck personally recommended Alyssa to be the guest curator of the Gozer exhibit. Once a Peck, always a Peck. Shandor must have employed hundreds of workers for years to build this place. The supports are waterlogged, the mortar is decrepit, and the foundation is shattered. In purely physical terms, there's no way all this can still be standing. You sound like you're surprised. No, not really. It's beautiful in a horrific way. You can't deny the pure genius of Shandor. It's a pity that it was all used for evil. If he would have just channeled some of it for good, the things he could have done. I actually really love the idea of haunted architecture that is haunted in just how resilient it seems to be, even in the face of, like, physics that shouldn't support it. And as you'd expect, this place is a gold mine of artifacts. Hang on. Look, a, mandala. a what now? I mean, I don't see anything. Cursed artifact, large painting. Anyone we recognize? Oh, mmm. Well, yeah. Some kind of resolution. A strange transforming painting. Fox hunt on Tiamat Island, circa 1910. Artist and Shandor devotee Vikram Vidam painted this fanciful scene after attending a prestigious fox hunt on Tiamat Island. Fox hunt, huh? And the echoes of that image still pervade these halls. Alright, let's do this. Never mind, I guess we're not doing this. Posthumous black mess. What? People still worship me? Even after they're dead? That's a powerful church, man. That might explain how these structures are still standing. Oh yeah. Material stability induced by sheer focused concentration of posthumous will. Unbelievable. Yeah, right. Unbelievable. What's unbelievable is that you can still use that word in context. Well, they're angry. You guys use slime on these things. Uh, how does this work against them? Probably actually a lot more, uh, probably actually a lot more effective. So I'm going to use the Mason Collider instead. Thank you. Sometimes you guys don't have the right idea, although you're often good for a hint. I mean, I know they're made of slime, but they're still so hardy. I mean, it took forever to fight them in the tunnels. But they do know enough to run when they're, uh, when they're overwhelmed. And they're smart enough to actually send some guys around the sides to flank us, using ranged attacks from a distance. I'm actually kind of impressed with this game's AI. It's a lot more than just rushing you. Right, let's keep up the let's keep up the machine gun fire, since you don't seem to have the sense to run away from that most of the time. Come on now. Oh. Okay. Now this is a job for the slime. How many more of these portals have opened? Uh, because surprises are a much bigger threat. Oh, there's one back the way we came. Right, let's just take care of these. You know, that almost made me feel for just a second like maybe it's possible for them to glitch and push me off a ledge I'm not supposed to be pushed off of. More to the point, though, die. Oh no, it homed into the wrong place. I'm trying, Winston. I think you're just about down. There we go. And your little portal spot is gone. Is officially time for us to go. That's one thing I've never understood. It almost seems like a trial, how certain areas just open up once we defeat all the ghosts there. They did say earlier that it's because, like, once the ghosts are gone, the spiritual energy being used on the environment will fade. Check this joint out. Unless my sensory array is malfunctioning, that is definitely the place we're looking for. 
And your common sense. Hey, where'd the caddy go? Yo, cool breeze. Come on out. Peter, behind you. No! Get back! Take your imaginary hands off me, man! No, there's too many. <laughs> Egon! They got Egon! Bring him back here! Kid, help us! Okay, you need to get to the others so they can help you. Please be careful. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. But it sounds big. When big things attack, it hurts. Advice for life. God, what is this? That thing is just like venting angry upward. And there must be so much black slime underneath us right now. Look, a river. Yeah, I don't think that's going to have any effect on this. This place should be infested. The fact that it isn't is kind of a red flag, actually. I mean, that just means they're waiting, right? Oh, no, my God. They actually did the steam jump scare in this game, of all places. Goodbye, future portals, even though I know that's not going to do anything. It at least helps in my peace of mind. And peace of mind is all I have when I have no backup and being downed even once will kill me. Go on, you. That one didn't get the memo that they're ambushing further up ahead. I guess we follow them! Mm -hmm. So, thing about ambushes like this, these weapons work best on choke points. You try to funnel me, and you're really only funneling yourself. It's a funnel of fun. Hey, the other guys aren't here, so I have to amuse myself. Have I gone in a circle? Take that as a no. Wow, there really are a lot of them now. It's a good thing we took all those slime upgrades. Being able to keep this stream continuous is kind of the name of the game when it comes to things like this. When it's just an onslaught, you just have to outlast them. Uh, speaking of Outlast, this kind of reminds me of the sewers from Outlast. <laughs> Speaking of the sewers from Outlast, this reminds me of a different part of the sewers from Outlast. Just ignore the noises. Just ignore the noises and assume that everything will work out. The noises are getting harder to ignore. Maybe I can figure out a way to drain this somehow? Maybe the other side goes all the way across. I don't like how it bubbles up like this. Drain slime from the catacomb tunnels. Ooh. Uh. Gates used to lock slime control. You know what? Maybe we can. Yep. Or maybe we actually need it to do it the other way? I don't know. Oh, are these like. Are these like counterweights? Alright. Okay, so let's destroy these things. I said let's destroy these. Okay, I guess we'll just have to wait. Uh, drop you to here. There we go. And you to here. You a little more here. Uh, you were not quite there. Well, this should be fun. I'm not quite sure if we fought something like this before. A giant blob of the dangerous black ectoplasm. 
This thing is literally malevolent energy come to life, so I don't know if one person is going to be quite enough to deal with this threat. All I know is that mopping up residual threats is probably going to be a pretty big deal in this moment if we expect to survive this. But then again, for all I know, this thing can just put its hand on the floor and spawn more portals. It's literally made of this stuff. Oh no. I mean, a bad guy made of portals. Oh, he's definitely spreading it on the ground. Alright, we're gonna have to, uh, I think our approach is gonna have to be multifaceted. Let's try slowing you down first. And then when that's done... Mason Collider. Oh, that didn't last long. Just keep it coming. Just keep it coming. Just keep it coming. Yep, nope. Slime, slime, slime is definitely the way to go. So let's just do it. Uh, for a second I thought you were gonna breathe fire on me. And I would've been to blame. You know, I was just starting to think that wasn't quite so bad as I thought it was going to be, and then I realized you had enough for another one. I should have known it wouldn't let me off that easy. Alright, we really need to learn about you. Although, thankfully, we already know how to deal with you. And that is to Kai and then chicken out and do this. Okay, so let's, let's test how well this works. We slow you down. We slow you to a... Stop, potentially. I mean, you, I, we were told we could stop enemies entirely if we did it enough, but that seems to have been a lie. And by the time we finish venting our heat, you are back to your regular ugly self. Ow, I, have n I can't back up anymore. I've got nowhere to go. So, if you could kindly die before finishing me off, this actually came down to a photo finish. And there you are. Let's spray the ground you walked on while we're at it. Oh, thank you. There's not another one. Let the whispers linger. Uh, so, are we going to want to raise you again? Seems like maybe not. Seems like on the other side of that gate is considerably more pain. No, we want to walk down the canals that once held the things that those guys are made of and could easily create more, presumably, right? Like, I'm understanding this right? We're doing wrong things here? Is this the last one? Did I just hear that? You're really going to have me hunting for Easter eggs while we're down here. Be ready for anything. And let's make sure we watch these floors. Oh no. Yep, here's a whole bunch of these. We're just going to have to tank those ranged attacks and understand that we can last longer than you. Right here. A thin plastic box. Um, that's not a thin plastic box. That's a DVD for the movie Ghostbusters. Do you want to explain that? <laughs> An artifact from the future. Ghostbusters DVD, circa 2008. Shandor cultists searching for artifacts from the future that would reveal the outcome of their plan for world destruction retrieved only this sad, transparent attempt at cross-marketing. <laughs> it's an awesome movie, though. Available now, only on DVD. That is an adorable Easter egg. You know, I guess we should be thanking our lucky stars this whole floor isn't covered in the stuff. And there's not a giant slime monster chase. Imagine that. Imagine trying to run through here and get rid of the stuff in front of us while something we can't fight chases us from behind. Uh, it would be like uh, Gromit laying tracks as he rides the train.
Fun thing about this, we're just forced to spend all this time. I'm trapped in a dark place. Can, can barely move my arms. Can you find me? I'll try. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. They know this game is about fulfilling childhood dreams. Our only objective? Rescue the Ghostbusters. The sounds are getting louder. You know, I always did like you more than the others did. Well, that's alright. I like you more than the others. Uh, Iron Maiden. They put you in a slime sarcophagus. Hey, in here. Give me a hand. Yeah, um, so how do we go about this? Do I pull you over? Do I try and lift you? No, seriously, what do I do? Oh, I just interact. Stop. Hey. Ooh, thanks, man. I was seriously cramping up in there. This is all looking a little familiar. Ray would be giggling right now. This must be where all the mood slime came from. Look, they must have pumped it straight into the sewers from here. Let's go find Egon. Then we'll think about finding people. I agree. We should think about it and keep our options open. Who am I kidding? What is this place? It's a bad place is what it is. <laughs> Not appreciating the sound of that. Shandor's cult was working some crazy experiments in here. There's blue slime, pink slime, yellow slime, but every ghost in here is coated with black slime. What's generating it all? Where's it all coming from? Now you're asking the right questions. What is that? I mean, some kind of generator, but a generator of what? From what? Um, not run. We can fight this. Come on. I know we can. Okay, well, you know, now that now that there's other stuff showing up, maybe maybe my assessment was rash. Alright, well look, we can we can pick each other up now. So maybe it's possible. Oh, they're gonna give you more than an apology. I think we can do this. Keep them down there. Keep you up here. This seems to actually be working much better now that you're not all flying high above me. We can do this. Ow. You know, maybe, maybe I spoke too soon. Your mobility is the problem, but we can reduce your numbers. We can reduce your advantage. Come on, let's get him. Alright, I'm gonna... Winston, can you handle this up here for a second? I need to try and get a shot on the portal that I know is down there. Uh, but I just can't get a good angle. There we go. Alright, that should buy us some breathing room. Winston, you really are the MVP of the game right now. I was actually reading about the character recently. I'm pretty sure he's an ex-Marine. I never knew that about him. But what I always liked about his character is that he's kind of the rookie before the rookie. He's the actual straight man, not Egon. He's the skeptic. He's the one who needs to have this stuff explained to him. And yet he's competent. Possibly more so than most of the others. That's why it's so disappointing that he wasn't as utilized in the movies as he should have been. Come on now. Uh, they're coming out of the they're coming out of the fans, and they're retreating into them as well. But not if we get them first. 
kind of stuff that really shows well on your review. I think you're really turning some heads back at headquarters. Man, what are these spooks up to here? I get the whole Mandela immortality and power thing, but what's up with all the slop signs? Ah, this island's got to be sitting directly on a cross-dimensional portal. I think I hear you guys. Yes, that sounds like my equipment. You're getting close. I guess that explains the insistence on building here, of all places. But also, turning heads back at headquarters? Dude, I've turned your head up off the floor like 50 times. Oh. So, PK meter seems the wrong device for this instance. Like, it seems like we know what's going on, we just have to be ready to kill it. Egon, hang on. We're almost to you. Thank you. This is going to reflect well on your performance review. Yeah, we've been over this. In cases, I find close proximity to mildew stimulating. That was a little much, though. Have you seen Venk? Well, you know. Have you looked for him? Well, you know. <laughs> meter seems to indicate that he's somewhere in this direction. Nope, stairs are out. That's fine, just means this isn't going to be a vertical fight. Yet, yeah, no, I'm covering the rear, guys. But I see a bunch of them jumping out of the back here. Uh, they're actually slipping around in the dark, which is pretty dangerous. Yeah, we really can't see them against the background. And I'm not sure how these portals work against a grate. Sure do. Uh, Winston, can you handle Egon? We got bigger matters to attend to at the moment. Uh, I'm running straight through slime. No, oh, this thing is obstructing my entire beam. I can get that one over there by arcing. This one's a little harder. Oh, and there's a giant one. There's a giant one, which means you might not get... Oh, you, you did have this. Huh. Well, I'll tell you what. This will reflect well on your performance review. What do you think of that? I've got to find some cover. Yeah, don't worry, I'll just act as bait. It's all good. Vent, drain. This stuff is actually super effective now that we can now that we can use it for more continuous of stream. Anybody down? Surprisingly not, that will except for me. Right, come on. Should be able to uh, get you now, unless you just teleport like that. Slime. Oh, disgusting, but not entirely without scientific use. Yeah, we can worry about it later. Over here. Right, where are you? I gotcha. Ooh. I can still yeah, hear somebody out there. there. Yep. Look out. With no health. This machinery indicates an astounding level of sophistication. Pure evil notwithstanding, Evo Shandor was far ahead of his time. You know I have to take my hat off to Shandor? This lab was built how many years ago? It's truly impressive. It's likely Shandor was the parapsychology expert of his time. Stay in the light, Egon. I'm trying, Winston. Should we try to find Peter, or...? They probably stashed him around here somewhere. Well, the scream accompanied by that door opening is not reassuring. And as amusing as I find it that we are still talking about this, uh, I think I hear. it looks like he is the only one who managed to stay on his feet on his own. Did somebody call a break? Yep, that's Binkman, all right. Now, we're sure about this, right? We need to be at full strength to shut down this node. Way to go! I feel a momentum swing here in our favor. Get out there and find the Mandela node and shut it down. That should really piss someone off. But is that what we want? Hey, I got places to go, people to meet. Can we move out of here? Great job, kid. Glad to hear Peter's okay. Nobody's got a quip. What are they doing? The readings are as big as those at the library when we crossed over. I think it's safe to assume that the machine they're working on was not built for a benign purpose. It's an orrery, a device typically used for predicting planetary alignment. 
In this case, it appears to actually be aligning dimensions. I, for one, do not want the dimensions to align. Not this close to Christmas. That would put a damper on the holidays. How do we shut that thing down? The motion of those devices seems to be generating some sort of energy. Hard to tell, though. What if we tried locking those things down? I can calculate 54 likely outcomes. We'd survive three of them. That beats our usual odds. Thanks, Dr. Course, Strange. Correct. Let's do it. It looks like the movement of those spheres is stabilizing the interior structure. What if they stopped moving? So far, this Gooby Island has been a slime tether amusement park. Why should that change now? Uh, sounds good. Uh, yep. And yep. I'm hoping this does what I want it to. You it's and... Time to good time, too. Yep. Yeah, I don't think this is doing what I want at all. Uh, tell you what, maybe if we tether them to the bottom, uh, physics will do the rest. Come on. Yep, we gotta break them. That actually makes tremendously more sense now I think about it. But if we're not at the right angle, it doesn't work the way I'd like it to. Yep. Come on now. There we go. You did. How come people smart enough to use science always try to take over the universe? Huh? Egon, Ray, anyone? Didn't think so. Wait, those planets are aligning. I'm not so sure this is the safest course of action. I think we found the source of the black slime, Winston. I wasn't that curious. The whole room's filling up. Get to higher ground. All right, gentlemen, it's official. This was a bad idea. I don't think we're gonna find higher ground than this. We probably have to do something quickly. And I don't know what it is we do. Uh, well, like, at least we broke Let's it. I mean, get a scan. What do you mean, get a scan? It's filling up with whatever this is. And I have a feeling that what happens in this isn't drowning. I mean, whatever it is, it's gotta be far worse, right? Uh. What is it you want me to do? Please tell me. Here comes the big finale. Ugh! The stint is horrible! It smells like the Fulton fish market when they've got fish. Wait, I know that dumpster. A putrid mass of hatred, bile, and anger. Not exactly Mr. Sunshine, is it? This is the part where we do what we do. Blow Imprisoned juvenile slore. Uh, well, I'd hate to see, I'd hate to see a senior slore. Actually, I believe there was a reference to something like this in the movies, but we never actually saw what one was. Okay, so you guys give it power, kill you. Uh, somebody can pick Bankman up, who was able to hold his own all this time and somehow died to this. And I guess we just keep sliming him! Tell you what, how about we read about him? Uh, it, it is weak to slime. Somehow, Shander's cult, guided by Evo himself, discovered a way to lure a young slore from its home hell dimension into our world. More impressively, they also managed to imprison that slore within a ghost world pocket at the heart of Shandor's island mansion. Fueled by hatred, bile, and anger, and assisted by mechanical monstrosities of Shandor's own design, this captive slore serves as the powerful guardian of the Lost Island's dimension-aligning or orrery machinery. It's got to be well, slime it! <laughs> Statistically speaking, that's, that's what it always comes down to. Statistically speaking, we better hope it is! Okay, fair enough. What okay. about that inaccessible anterior nodule? That bully thing on its head? That is its head, isn't it? I'm not sure that matters. How can we get to it? Hey, Rook, run around and look delicious, will ya? You've got to be kidding me. I'm actually just explicitly being used as bait now. There it is. Concentrate your fire on that node. Hit it yep. right there. It there we go. That okay, that actually did a decent amount of damage. Just keep trying. He's taking the bait. Why are you shooting everything but that glowing thing on its head? 
Uh, because it's not really exposing the glowing thing on its head. I'm kind of waiting for it to do that. I'm trying to make it angry. It can't possibly hurt to do this otherwise, right? But every time you do bite down, we do significant damage. We can actually make short work of you. I'm convinced. And you're leaving this stuff on the ground, making it harder to kite you. Is it really kiting in this sense? I'm not sure. Point is, nobody else seems to be picking up the downed ones. Oh wow, one of these things is still alive in the corner. Winston, you're not doing much to stay out of harm's way. Actually, that was pretty epic. It looked like you were, like, diving to save me from being swallowed. Find some cover. Are you. There you are. Die. Oh, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Oh, wait, no. Okay, we can't scan you. We can kill you. That's right, you dissolve, slug. The ghosts are trapped in Mandala. Right where they belong. Our boy Evo Shandor didn't factor in that he was messing with the Ghostbusters. Ha ha ha! Yeah, Peck made the same mistake. We're gonna have to have a long talk with him. Don't forget that Peter's girlfriend is a Shandor. I'm gonna have a, a very long talk with her. You guys need to get down to the shore and fast! I don't know how much longer I can hold her. The whole island's sinking! Ray, keep the motor running! We are coming at you fast! Peter, get out of there! How was it? Was it cool? What did it look like? Did you get any samples? Did it have multiple eyes? Shut up. <laughs> no, but I had purple eyes for a second. Oh, thank God you're here. What's going on, Janine? Where's Alyssa? She's gone. They took her. One minute everything was fine, the next it was chaos. Ghosts flying everywhere. Janine, slow down. Start from the beginning. Okay. Well... I was a little late this morning because one of the heels on my favorite pair of pumps broke, and Lester's was out of my favorite tea. You know how I love my chamomile. Well, and... Okay. Maybe not the beginning. Start where things went haywire around here. Okay. Okay. Somebody jumped me from behind, and before I passed out, I heard Alyssa struggling and yelling, No! And the last thing I remember was the screams of the dead and damned echoing in my brain. So either there was a mass escape from Rikers... Or someone shut down our containment grid again. Again? Just like Peck threatened to do. It's funny. I always knew that Peck was a pencil-necked bureaucratic prick. But I never pegged him as an evil occultist. But where did he take her? And where are all the ghosts? Cause, no offense, but if all the ghosts we've ever caught just escaped, I'm clocking out. Yeah, they would be awfully mad at us. Exactly. It's generally a bad idea for the guards to hang out in the cell blocks just after a prison break. This just in. As authorities continue to supervise the Thanksgiving evacuation of Manhattan, increasingly powerful tremors are rocking Central Park. The question is, where are the Ghostbusters? Uh, tell you what, kind of a nice day. Why don't we go to Central Park? Could round up some ghosts. So the girl... Get back in time for a nap. Okay, the Ghostbusters ride again. And you are immediately just back at your post. You may be deadpan, but we can't say you're not dedicated. Oh, hi. Really? You know, you said you wouldn't be coming in mm -hmm. if Manhattan were evacuated. You're actually going above and beyond. You do like us. Manhattan. I don't plan on coming in on Monday, and he says... He says, I've already used all my floating holidays this year, right? Oh, huh. you did acknowledge it. Vegas. You keep acknowledging things I didn't expect you to. The exodus of the city doesn't count as a floating holiday. No, it doesn't. I looked it up. So the bell-bottom pants! They're alive! And, that what is and, and they're making music. Really I think it's so cool that they even bother to model, like, the financial center over there. Well, I guess before we move on, I should have a look at uh, some of the more crusty guys that I got. And I'm not just talking about Crusto and Cruster. Uh, Chef DeForest, you're looking mighty crusty. Chef DeForest was a talented chef on the verge of becoming world famous. 
The night the restaurant critic came to his restaurant, however, things went poorly. In order to avoid a bad review, the intensely paranoid chef poisoned the critic's dessert course. He hid the poison poorly, though, and it accidentally found its way into the staff's dinner the following evening. The entire staff, including Chef DeForest himself, died horrible and painful deaths. Like the rest of his staff, Chef DeForest was imported to New York City and the Sedgwick Hotel, along with his kitchen equipment. That is so freaky, the idea that ghosts can travel in such a way. Well, it seems we have a city to save, and I'm going to go for it right now. But for you, that'll have to wait until next time. Until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.